Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Brady, guys. Another video, guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the new item that they're bringing to Fortnite Battle Royale, guys. This item, a lot of people are complaining about. A lot of people are skeptical about it, and they're thinking that this is going to break the game, that uh, it's going to make the game not fun. No one's going to want to play it anymore. Or it's going to kill the game. And I'm going to just say right now, nothing will kill Fortnite Battle Royale. Of course, if they do add something, it'll always only be temporary because the game is in early access stage. So if people don't like it or the game game developers don't like it within the game of course they will delete it so there's nothing that they can add within the game that is going to stay 100% for sure so anytime they add something new and a lot of people sit there and say that it's going to break the game there's no way that the game is going to die out just by one item being added to the game now if they add 100 different items that people don't like and they don't do anything about it and keep it within the game yes of course these items are going to eventually kill the game but not one item in specific will kill a certain game because the game is just too big for something like that to happen now of course again I don't want to say that the game will ever not die because the game will eventually die over time actually i've seen a lot of people getting bored playing this game because one a lot of people are going try hard and those try hards are making a lot of people actually rage because a lot of these people out here of course they want to play the game and they want to get as good as ninja and stuff and they're just playing the game casually all the casual players that are just trying to play normally they're dying by all these try hards and stuff like that so until they implement something like a ranked player or something like that within the game it's definitely going to be a, a really annoying for a lot of the people that just casually play the game. There's a lot of casual players that just play the game for fun. Um, and then you have these tryhards that are out here really trying to just dominate and become the best of the best. And those tryhards are actually making it not fun for the, the casual players. So until they implement something like ranked player or something like that, it's going to definitely decrease the amount of fun within the game. But of course, this is only early access. They're still adding a whole bunch of new things within the game. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're actually here to talk about the portable fort, guys. The portable fort that they're adding to the game tomorrow. So it's basically going to come out on Thursday. The reason I think it's Thursday is because they've been releasing a whole bunch of new things on Thursdays. Thursday seems to be the date that they roll out patch updates and stuff like that so hopefully when they roll out this update with the port of fort coming to the game they also fix a few things because yesterday when i was playing on playstation servers it was extremely laggy like i'm not gonna lie the servers were extremely laggy like on another level it wasn't just like your gun glitching through the wall or something like that or your character glitching through the wall it was literally lag like your character would jump from one spot to another and it was happening consistently it wasn't just like landing at tilted towers and it's constantly lagging it was literally a top 10 situation you're in a gunfight with a team of three and it starts lagging like crazy you're actually going to see in the background the gameplay you're going to see it happening so i think one thing that i want uh, epic games to do is to fix a lot of these issues before they start adding all these new items within the game because all these new items are cool and all but the game's not fun to play if you're having a whole bunch of lag issues and stuff like that so definitely that's the one thing that I wish they could actually fix before they start adding things but the port of fort is a huge thing coming to the game and a lot of people are saying that they don't like it the reason they're saying they don't like it is because one it's not fair to be able to build a fort instantly because then it requires no skill when it comes to building but guys and a lot of people are thinking that it's just gonna be a one by one fort but actually in the gameplay in the trailer that I'm about to show you right now it shows that it's a massive fort it is a real fort it's not just some small baby fort that one by one baby fort that anyone one wants or needs this is a legit massive fort i mean it's a good one by one but it goes up to three stories and then at the top it has a whole like look off thing i don't know how to explain it just watch the gameplay right now So as you guys saw, this isn't just some baby small fort. This is a legit fortress. Like this is something that uh, Rhino Crunch used to make in his videos, and it's a massive fort. It's definitely a good thing to make in a solo game, but in a squad game, who knows? There's different uses that this thing can actually be good for. But in my opinion, this is something big. I mean, if you're if you're about to fall and take fall damage, a lot of people can end up throwing it down on the floor. And if it hits the floor before they do, they are three stories up, so they don't take that much fall damage. There's a lot of good things that come from this, and I'll cover that here in a second. But right now, I want to talk to you guys. Do you guys think this is going to be fair within the game? Because I know a lot of people don't like the idea that they're making this, and a lot of people don't care. And in my opinion... This is going to be like a noob item. A lot of the newer players are going to use this because, again, our inventory only allows us up to five items. So for us to hold a grenade that builds a fort that we can e easily build easy, 
I don't think a lot of people are gonna do it. There's so many items within the game that our options are just that our options are massive when it comes to what items we can use within the game. Just because I mean we have scars, we have uh, shotguns. Sometimes we have to actually double hold two shotguns in order to get up range close up fight kills. Uh, we have sniper rifles, RPGs. We have all kinds of different explosive. We have shields. We have all kinds of different shields. We have baby pots, big pots. We have slurp juice. We have med kits, bandages. We have chug jugs. There's all types of different things that we can actually hold in our inventory so I don't think a lot of people are going to want to hold the porta for it of course when it first comes out a lot of people are definitely going to want it because they're going to want to see what it's about and what kind of clips they can get with it but definitely later on in the game I don't think it's something that's going to stay for a long time you guys because it's just it's nothing special it's nothing that'll dramatically help you win the game it can help out a little bit but again, it's nothing that's going to give you an easy W or anything like that. Like, I'd rather definitely hold impulse grenades rather than this because impulse grenades will definitely get me closer to the enemy in a group game. But then again, in a solo match, I probably might like the solo match to have a port of fort because if I'm getting rushed by another team or something, I can throw a port of fort somewhere else and make them think that I'm right there. Or I can throw it on me so that way I can build a base so I have enough time to heal rather than building a base myself and it's instantly built. Now we're going to watch this gameplay in slow motion so we can actually watch it and understand exactly what it does. So this girl is getting shot by two people. She has the port of fort and in the port of fort it actually shows exactly what it's going to build. She throws it down right where she is and it just builds this massive fortress of metal. It builds it out of metal. Out of all material, metal is the strongest material so that's crazy for it to build that quick. And she shows up on top. Does this mean that there's going to be stairs already built in on the middle so that way she can climb to the top as quick as possible? Or does this mean she's going to automatically spawn at the top? Again, we're gonna watch that again because it's easy, man. I mean, she literally built it in an instance, and I don't think that they're gonna spawn you on top of it, but then again, you never know. They, I think they're gonna have a stair system where you can climb to the top, but in a one by one, it's hard to build a sufficient stair system where you can actually climb all the way to the top in just a one by one base. So in my opinion, I think that they're gonna spawn you on top of it where you're actually safe and stuff like that, but when they do something like that, again, it's not that easy because people can climb up there very quick. So if you're trying to heal up, you build this to heal up, you have no way of actually healing up. Now, it's definitely gonna throw a lot of people off when they actually see this end game because think about it, they're gonna just see an instant base be built right in front of their eyes. If, if you're rushing a team of four and they use this port of four, you're not gonna know exactly where they went. They're just gonna be everywhere across the map so with with that being said guys that's just something crazy coming to fortnite battle royale i don't know how i feel about it in my opinion i think it's just definitely something that's not going to last forever it's going to be something that's quick and temporary and that's just my opinion my personal opinion on it uh you guys gotta let me know down in the comments below what do you think about port of fort coming to fortnite battle royale but with that being said you guys if you guys please can give this video a thumbs up i know a lot of people might be getting bored of this game but guys here's a, something fun that me and my friends actually invented if you guys want want to watch the rest of the gameplay that's up to you it's definitely a lot of fun all you do is team up teams of two and all you have to do is it helps definitely practice on your editing skills you have to edit the floorboards and try and knock them underneath the map you guys this is actually very safe to do this at it's in tomato town it's a lot of fun i promise you and all you got to do again is just edit out the map underneath them once you knock them down under the floor they lose they're out there's no more to it i'm going to make a full video explaining the rules and stuff like that but for now watch the gameplay and stick stick around for the uh rules and stuff like that in another video hope you guys enjoyed if you please can give this video a thumbs up if you're new to the channel subscribe and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video peace Stop holding I'm it. I'm not holding any of them. See ya. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Anthony. Anthony was holding it, bro. We dog, yo. Yo, y'all suck. Come on, let's Anthony do it one more. Let's do it, one more. Oh, someone's below us. Wait, wait. Shh, 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 shh. There's people on there. <laughs> There's people on there. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> don't move. Don't move. Don't move. They're above us. Yeah, yeah. They're short, right? We're good. Now. We're good. Ready, set, go. They're building. No, nah, they're good. We're good. We're good. I know what y'all doing. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Jello, I almost got you. Oh. No, Jello, ah. you gotta win it. Jello, win. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh, we won. <laughs>